Hello, I am Johannes Gerber of Johannes Gerber and my saxophone mouthpieces in South Africa and in today's Master Craftsman episode I'm working on a Selma soloist alto saxophone mouthpiece. Enjoy! In this close-up video shot of the tip rail area, it's obvious that this mouthpiece has seen better days. This Selma soloist is of the Longshank variety and came in a very rare tip opening an A star. I'm going to open this mouthpiece to a standard size D and in the process I'm going to get rid of that chip in the tip area. Once the table is flat, a new facing is created to the specification of the Selma size D. Once the table and facing is accurate, it's noticeable that the tip rail has increased quite an amount in thickness. Cutting the tip rail and baffle is a high precision process involving specially shaped tools and requiring the highest level of concentration. Once a tip rail has been shaped to fit a reed and once a baffle has been blended with the rest of the chamber, all file marks are carefully removed. Finally, the outside of the rails are trimmed before final finishing starts. Finishing the chamber is a tedious process because one small mistake can not only ruin your work, it can ruin the mouthpiece. Thank you for watching and please subscribe as more videos like this are coming soon. I wish you a wonderful, peaceful day. God bless you.